On this episode of Travels with Bill, we're just outside of Swan River at Spruce Products Limited. It's one of the big industries in the Swan River Valley, and today we learn more about it. We're looking over the Swan River yard, and in the distance you can see the town of Swan River. Quite a happening place these days. Lots of houses, lots of people, and many of them work right here at Spruce Products. We'll jump into town for a minute. Look at all the houses. You don't get rows of houses without an awful lot of lumber. Many of the homes in Swan River are made with Spruce Products lumber, but that's true of homes across Western Canada. They ship lumber everywhere in Canada, and amazing things get built with it, whether it's houses or businesses or anything in between. When you're a sawmill, you need an awful lot of lumber. Uh, just a quick peek at some of the lumber piles here to get your mind around how much lumber this place is making. It's an extreme amount. Truckload after truckload, they fill up home building centers all across the land with lumber that's ready to go for your project. We'll take a bit of a yard tour here. The green roof building, that's the office. If you're stopping in for some reason, that's where you need to end up. If you need to be someplace else, they'll help you get there safely. Now you can see a lot of lumber all around, but in the bottom of the screen, at least just becoming the bottom of the screen, that's the main sawmill. And that's our first stop to see exactly what's going on. There wouldn't be a lot of spruce products without a sawmill. It's kind of a important part of it. Everything has to go through there eventually. All those logs will make their way through before they become dimensional lumber. It's kind of tough from the air though to see exactly what's going on inside. Before we jump in though, take a look at that part on the far right hand side. See that? That's a log sorter. It's one of the newer parts of Spruce products. They put it in to increase efficiency and it's working well. Many of the things you'll find here at Spruce products have actually been featured in magazines and all sorts because they are cutting edge in the lumber industry. We'll borrow a bit of video here from Spruce Products and take a closer look at that log sorter. Now the idea is to make it so there's not a lot of change inside the mill between log size. Once upon a time, whatever log was next simply went in and they had to adjust the saws. But by pre-sorting them, that makes sure they get logs of a similar size and there's much less adjusting to do inside. That speeds everything up and it's part of a 20% efficiency boost that makes the mill do even better. Once those logs are sorted, then they feed one size at a time on inside. Speaking of inside, I see a log's heading on in right now, and it'll soon be followed by a friend. Time to see what's inside that big building. I should be clear, the point of the video today is not to give you an exhaustive view of how everything works at Spruce Products. That would take quite a while, and maybe someday we'll come back and do that. But what I do want to impress on you is that everything inside is computerized. Sure, there's a lot of people working here, but there's a lot of machines at work too, and they do this in a state-of-the-art way. You'll see the scanning tools, making sure what's happening with the logs. It's all sorted by automation too. Even the grading is done, all by computer. It's overseen by humans, but this is a state-of-the-art mill that's making lumber constantly. There's actually some neat videos online of different people that have been in here, and we're borrowing some pieces from some of them. Let's hop back outside. In the yard, there's a bunch of logs. You don't get lumber without logs, do you? And you don't get logs without trees. Sustainable forestry is always important. Whether it's a sawmill or an OSB plant, we've got to make sure there's enough trees to keep on going. Spruce Products is, of course, part of that. They're planting millions of trees to make sure the forests in the area are always ready to go. Just how far will it come? Well, up to 200 kilometers, they tell us, they'll bring logs to the sawmill. So that means they can come quite a long ways, and that's an awful lot of forest to keep ready to go. We'll jump ahead here a bit and look at the other side of the yard. Lots going on here too. The sawmill in the distance now. In the middle, there's the planing area where they make that lumber smooth and ready to go. The lumber they sell here is ready to build with. It doesn't have to go anywhere else first. We're flying over the storage yard here too. That's the lumber waiting to go. And just disappearing, that is the shavings plant. What do you mean you say, a shavings plant? You bet, they've got one of those too. Not just a plant, they've also got a handy dandy shavings robot. So what are shavings? Well, when you take that lumber and you clean it down and make it smooth, there's going to be little pieces of lumber. You could throw those away. You could burn them, or you could reuse them so you're using all of the tree. That's what's happening here. Swan wood shavings are perfect for bedding. You can use it for rabbits, you can use it for horses, and you can even use it as mulch in your garden. A variety of purposes this stuff is great for, and it too is sold all over the place. 
This is how they get it in those little bags, by the way. And that's kind of neat, isn't it? The machine is totally automated. So rather than a bunch of people here trying to push them on in and tamp them tight, the machine just throws them in and you see how quickly they're coming back out. That means they make load after load and they ship them by truck anywhere they're needed. One of the coolest things looking at the yard is you don't see a lot of smoke. There's no big smokestack burning off extra stuff because there isn't any extra stuff to burn off. Spruce Products is again a leader in that too. We just saw the shavings, but everything else here is also being used to its fullest ability. That starts even in the forest where they're chipping the trees that don't work for lumber and sending that up north to the craft paper plant. Maybe you don't think about just how many people's jobs rely on this place. It's not just the people cutting down the trees, and it's certainly not just the people making the lumber. There's trucking companies, there's service people, there's everything you can imagine to keep a mill like this going. It's one of two big mills in the Swan River Valley. The other one is Louisiana Pacific. You can find a quick tour of it on the Travels with Bill channel as well. Between the two of them, they employ hundreds and hundreds of people. You can see the agriculture in the background. It's a beautiful summer day. The canola is in bloom. Agriculture is another huge industry in the valley. But you can also see how nice the valley looks. This is not a big city. Here it's wide open spaces, lots of lakes, lots of opportunity. Great in the winter and amazing in the summer. In one form or another, since 1942, Spruce Products has been part of the Swan River Valley, and the valley has been part of Spruce Products. You can't go very far without finding something made with the lumber made at this very mill. Well, that does it for this quick peek at Spruce Products. If you want to know more, talk to the mill, or check out some of the links in the description. There's more videos there where you can see more of those inside processes and find out exactly what's going on here. For now, at least, we bid you farewell from just outside of Swan River. We'll see you on the next episode of Travels with Bill.